Hey guys, it's Kate. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe so you can join the family. We are currently 60 subscribers away from 10k, which is totally crazy. And thank you guys so much for your love and support. It truly means the world to me. So as you've read the title, I'm doing a very exciting video. I'm going to let my Instagram followers control my prom. Okay, so you've probably seen these type of videos, but they usually like Instagram followers control my day or control my vacation. I've seen that and stuff like that, but I don't think I've seen anyone do controlling my proms. So I thought it'd be a really exciting thing to do and a little bit stressful because what if I don't like what you guys pick? But at the same time, it's going to be really helpful because I am very indecisive when it comes to clothing. So this will probably also help me because it'll just help me make a decision. And by the way, you can follow my Instagram here. It's at kcatelli. It'll also be linked in description so that in the future you can participate in my videos too. So my school's junior dance is not exactly a prom because it's not quite as formal. Like all the girls are supposed to be wearing short dresses and it's actually called junior function. So the first dress is like a light blush color and it's ruffly and it's kind of like edgy I guess but it's definitely very different and I really really doubt someone will have the same dress as me. So the main thing that I was looking for when I was looking for a dress was that I wanted something that was really roomy so I have space to eat in it because I went to function last year with my friend and the food is so good. I am going to be eating so much and I need a dress that allows for that. So this pink dress is like kind of form-fitting but I think that with the ruffles and stuff it'll distract from my food baby because I get extreme bloating after I eat. So the second dress is like a green satin cowl neck dress and it's super popular. It's a slip dress so it just like flares out like that so I don't need to worry about if I eat because you literally can't see anything so that would be really nice. And I'm generally having problems trying to decide between the two so I don't really mind whichever one you guys pick. The only thing with the green one is that I heard from my friend that she knows other people that are thinking to get this same style of dress and hopefully they don't get this exact same color. I don't totally like matching with someone because then it's like who wore it better and stuff but if that happens then it's okay. I do feel like people are gonna pick the bottom green one just because it's like less edgy and more normal but I don't know. This is my 38 minute update, so right now we're at 74% for the green dress, but 26% for the pink dress. And now that everyone is saying that they like the green dress, it's making me realize that in fact I wanted the pink dress. I don't really mind whichever one you guys pick. I don't even know, like I just feel like it's more different and it's definitely really special. Like. I wouldn't have really an occasion to ever wear that type of dress again. So I was texting my friends and they're like, they're both so cute but wear the pink one because it's cuter and it's more you. But then the other twin said, I chose the green one because I thought the pink one kind of looked like a towel. And that is very, very true as well. So <laughs> I don't know what to do. Hi. So I haven't done an update in a few days. So here I am. So what my friend made me realize basically was that the pink dress is a day dress. And it just like, it changed everything. Like, like I'm totally at peace with you guys picking the green one now because I could just get the pink one and wear it like for my birthday, like for a lunch or something like that. You know what I mean? Another thing that I noticed was that you guys were picking all the option on the right side, which was kind of creepy. And I don't know if it's like a psychological thing or if you just liked what was on the right option more. And then I was reminded of Chantel Jeffrey's dress that she wore on New Year's Eve. It's this gold shimmery, it's not rhinestones but it's like shimmery and it's so beautiful. So I decided to put that one up against the green one on a pole and you guys still picked the green one so that's the winner. Okay so yesterday I decided that I need to order my dress like what am I doing because like a lot of my friends got their dresses yesterday, like, they just all seemed to arrive at the same day. And I was like, girl, I didn't even order mine yet, and it's coming from Australia, so... So I did order the green dress, but in my car, I still had the pink one in it, and guess what? It literally said, sold out. So I was like, that's a sign that I 
wasn't supposed to get the pink one. Yet again, another sign. Okay, so every year our school, like the people in our grade, always make like a Google Doc. I made it this year, but basically you put your name and your dress just to make sure that no one steals your dress and just for inspo. I don't really know why we do it. Are you serious? I forgot what I was talking about something about the google oh yeah everyone on the google doc is wearing like bodycon dresses that are super tight and like damn like girl you're gonna look good but how are you gonna eat you know so i mean i guess you can wear that food baby loud and proud not loud but oh the lighting at sundown is so bad so for the necklace i did one that was like a thick chain here with a north star coin pendant and then it could also be a cowrie shell with like a bunch of little rhinestones at the top mm -hmm. then i asked them to pick from either just like a single pearl right here or a smiley face sort of thing with a rhinestone so for earrings on the green one i'm gonna do like a chandelier earring or a hoop with a pearl in it and then for the simple one, if I get the pink one, then it's going to be like a rhinestone with like kind of a teardrop shape and then with rhinestones on it. Or I don't even know what it's called, but like it kind of looks like a laser cut diamond shape. <sighs> hey there. So I have some more updates. I feel like I'm filming this video in like a really weird type of style. Oh wait, my Christmas tree's falling over. Okay, so at first I was going to ask my Instagram followers if I should go stag, which means alone with my friends, or if I should get a date. But everyone is getting a date in my friend group, so I don't want to be that person, you know what I mean? So I am going to get a date. And now I'm going to ask my Instagram followers if I should wait for a boy to ask me, or if I should ask a boy. <sighs> kind of nervous about this one. Okay, so in the beginning when I said that, I was going to let you guys choose my date. Some people swiped up on my Instagram thinking that I was going to be, like, putting pictures of people next to, <laughs> next to each other and, like, saying, like, which one should I go with or something. But, yeah, that is not what I'm doing. Okay, we just posted it, and I'm nervous about this one. Loki, I want to just ask, um, oh my god, it's too loud outside, hold on. As I was saying, Loki, I want to just ask because it would be easier because then, like, I wouldn't have to worry about who's gonna ask me and wait. But then at the same time, like, I'm nervous because I don't know if I want to do a big ask because some people are, like, making it so big and literally, like, the whole school can see it it happened and they're like crowding around and first of all I don't know how to create that type of hype and then second of all like I just don't know I'm nervous so I am gonna be asking the boy as you guys wanted me to so I am gonna be vlogging it and you guys can check it out so just make sure your post notifications are on so you know when it's posted Hey guys, it's nighttime and this lighting is disgusting. I also asked everyone what shoe I should get. I forgot if I updated you guys on that yet, but the gold shoe one. So I'm going to be getting that one, even though I low-key wanted the snake print one just because it's very, like, special and, like, I feel like it's more fashionable. But for my event, I guess it looks more classy if I go for gold. And my friend said that I could wear it more often, I guess, which is true, like, after a function for nails I'm gonna be doing press-ons because like I don't want to deal with having to get acrylics or gel and get it removed and stuff it's just too much of a hassle I just got things to do with my hands you know I can't be like like that all the time you guys voted for like the pinkish gold one which I think will hopefully look good because I wasn't really sure if the pink would go with the green but but the model in the picture wearing the green dress has pink nails so I think it should be fine and yeah if you guys want to see the final look make sure you stay tuned for that vlog too my functions on march 9th so you guys will probably see that a little bit later though oh but i'm also gonna do a prom version of this for senior prom because i'm also going to senior prom so stay tuned for that one so if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you give it a like comment down below what you voted for and if your voted thing won and subscribe and turn on post notifications obviously so that you know when i post those 
new videos because there's a lot coming out and then you can follow me on Instagram right here at Kcatelli so that in the future you guys know when I do more polls because I'm going to be doing one for a senior prom. So stay tuned for that one and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!